Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? Alright, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! Ah. <sighs> The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Let's go! Hey! And look after her! I'm serious! What are you going to do? We're not! Gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I, uh, well, okay. Well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merryweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards. And Merchandise! I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci! I want country clubs, and a depressed wife with blonde hair, and a hot little secretary! Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact! Tell him we got some guns to sell! I'll get you on the radio! Right ahead of me. You got 
about the weapons they're using to enslave us on Morg! If we could get a hold of them! Oh my god! I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment when you've caught up to that? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald! Let's just get there first!
I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. 
You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. He'll appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Franklin, hey, have you, like, heard from my dad? Oh, y yeah, man, and you should call him. He hasn't been back to the house for a while, and there's some creepy-ass dudes parked outside. Yeah, like I said, man, you should call him. He explain all that shit to you. So he's okay? Great. All right, don't tell him we talked. Yeah, all right, man, but call him. Hey, Devin. Mike! Hey, 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 whoa. Solomon cannot stop talking about you, bro. I mean, major man crush. Is the feeling mutual? Oh, hell yeah. I'm telling you, whoever said don't meet your heroes, man? Whatever. Anyway, I am the guy to know, right? I make things happen. You did me a favor with the kid in the car, so I did you a favor with the film shit. You keep being useful to me, I'll keep being useful to you. That sound good? Of course it does. Namaste, bro. Dad? You little fucking shit. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you until you calm down. You drugged me and ditched me on the sidewalk? A talk is the least I'm owed. Don't you see the drugging is like a symptom of your own breakdown? Oh, I'll give you symptoms. How's a cracked skull sound? Goodbye, psycho. Get some help. What do you want? I miss you. I miss you too. But you gotta learn to chill the fuck out, you crazy nut job. Goodbye. Dad. Hey, kid. How about a bike ride or something? I'm still not ready to see you, Dad. Sorry. Go away! Fuck off! Stop calling! Eat shit, asshole! Deal with your shit! Forget about me, okay? I'm fine, goodbye! Good luck with your life! Michael, my boy, where are you? You're not in rehab. No, I just had to get out of town for a while. Good, because all my friends who went to rehab came back very sanctimonious. We miss you at the studio. Whatever you said to Anton and Milton really worked. They're behaving. You're an important part of this process, Michael. Wow, are you serious? That means a lot to me, Solomon. I'll come see you uh, as soon as I get back. Trevor, hey. Look, I need to tell you something. Your dad's moved in with me. Moved in? Yeah, yeah. We're bunked in together, like old times. He doesn't need Los Santos, he doesn't need that crusty old hag you call mom, and he doesn't need two ungrateful brats. Whoa, Trevor, what? He's with me now. Get used to it. Family life was just an aberration. Trevor, dude, what's up? I had to leave town. Shit, I ain't surprised. I heard some funny stories about some dude pinching a real nasty Mexican dude wife, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's my man Trevor. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, bro, sure. 
You can call me when you get back in town. Trevor, I was worried. Where, where are you? Back in Sandy Shores, helping Ron run the business. Oh, you need me to come over? Bizarrely, we're coping just fine without you. Stay with Floyd. Anyone asks, you don't know where I am. But I do know. 